What's up friends? Welcome back to another video. My name's Alex, my pronouns are he, him, and this is my channel, Pucks and Paperbacks, where I take YouTube trends and make them bookish, and I also share themed book recommendations just like this one. In 2019, when Disney Plus launched, I made a video recommending books based on Disney original movies, and I made it a Patreon video where I basically did a part two on Patreon and gave more recommendations there. So I thought that since it's been a while, I should do a part two because this video has actually been picked up by a couple other creators since Mayan. So I thought that I would make a part two. I've been wanting to. So if you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below what your favorite Disney original movie is. I would love to know. So today I'm going to give you more YA book recommendations based on Disney original movies. I went over to Instagram and I asked you what is your favorite Disney original movie and I took some inspiration from your answers. If you want to be involved in more videos like this follow me on Instagram at Pucks and Paperbacks. I use my stories a lot for video ideas and to get your inspiration and some of your questions for videos so don't miss out on that follow me on Instagram and let's get into the book recommendations I'll be recommending all young adult books and I will clarify if it is anything different and stay till the end because I'm going to have a bonus recommendation let's get started first and foremost because this is pucks and paperbacks I'm a hockey fan and I am wearing my gritty shirt the first Disney original movie is the Mighty Ducks I love The Mighty Ducks. It is a great movie franchise. And I just watched the Disney Plus show, The Mighty Ducks Game Changers, and it was really good. It has Lauren Graham and I loved it a lot. So here are my book recommendations for The Mighty Ducks. First, we have my favorite graphic novel series, Check Please by Nicasia Kozo. This is so great. It is about a boy named Biddy who is a vlogger and he is at a college for hockey and he is gay and he loves making pies. I loved this so much and it definitely gave me Mighty Ducks vibes. And for adult readers, I would recommend the Bear Town series. This has a trigger warning for sexual assault. If I was a hockey town and there is a 14 year old girl who is sexually assaulted, this book series just encompasses what hockey is. You're really going to resonate with this series if you are a hockey fan like me. The one thing I love about the series is that Frederick Bachman just gets hockey. He writes it so well and I just love it so much. So if you have not picked up Bear Town, I highly recommend it. Next is one of my very favorite Disney original movies and this is Brink. Hey, can I give you some advice? Skate better. Skate better. I love Brink so much. Watching it back now, it might not hold up, but I love it. I'm a skater at heart. I stayed up late watching MTV Scarred as a kid. I always hung around skaters. I was always at the skate park, but I never actually skated myself. My recommendation is one of my favorite books of the year, Skate for Your Life by Leo Baker. This is a part of the Pocket Change Collective and every book I mention will be linked down below. And I will also include an affiliate link if you would like to help me out and buy any of these books. I love this book for many reasons. Growing up in skate culture, I could resonate with this book a lot. This is about Leo Baker who is a non-binary trans masculine pro skater and they talk all about the struggles they've went through because of the way that trans people are treated in sports, the way it goes, and I really love it and if you pick up any book this year it should be this one. Next is Halloween Town and this one might be a little bit of a stretch but I'm going to recommend it anyway. It is a middle grade story and this is Ghost Squad by Clarabelle A. Ortega. This is about a girl named Lucy and she can see her past loved ones as fireflies and one day she notices that the lights are going out and it is up to her and her friend Sid to figure out what's going on and they have to solve the mystery by Halloween night. This is such a good middle grade. I loved it so much and the author's next book 
is more Halloween Town-esque. It is called the Witchlings and I'll have more information for that down below. Next is another favorite Disney original movie of mine and this is the ultimate Christmas present. I feel like this is a weird one but when I was a kid I just wish that this actually came true. I thought it was just so fun. I have two novellas for this recommendation. First being Fearless by Shira Glassman. This is a female female romance between two band moms and they are snowed in at a band competition and it is just so adorable and I love it so much. And the other novella is I'll Be Home for Christmas by Mason Deaver. This is Mason's novella to their novel I Wish You All the Best and it is just so good. I love it so much. I'm not going to go into it because I don't want to spoil it but it's really good. If you have not read it yet I highly recommend it. On Instagram someone said Twitches was their favorite movie so I decided to include it in this video and the book that I am picking is Snapdragon by Kat Leith and this is so good. It is also queer. It has a trans side character and I love it so much. It is a graphic novel about a girl named Snap and she meets a witch named Jax and there is just so much queer joy in this and I really enjoy it. So I highly recommend it if you are looking for a queer graphic novel with some spooky vibes. Next is Sky High and for this I am recommending the graphic novel Quinces and this is about a girl on her quinceanera. She gets superpowers and it is just so fantastic. I haven't read a lot of superhero books so if you would like to recommend some in the comments I would love that. Next is Gotta Kick It Up and I am going to be recommending a graphic novel coming out I think next month and this is Cheer Up. I really loved this. It is a graphic novel about a trans girl who happens to be the head cheerleader and I love it so much. There's also a female female romance and I just thought it was great and I highly recommend to pick it up when it comes out. On Instagram someone else said The Color of Friendship and I am going to recommend Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed. This is an adult book. It is about a black woman who is racially profiled at a grocery store when she's babysitting for a white family and it is about her struggles. It is set in Philadelphia and I really enjoyed it. I read it for my video where I read the most popular books in my state so that video will be up here if you would like to watch it. Next is Hannah Montana. This is just the show and the movie so this is a little bit out of the title range but I still wanted to recommend it and I'm going to recommend two books that I thought of when I was brainstorming for this video and first is On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. It is about a girl named Brie who goes viral for her rap song and it is all about the music industry and I'm going to recommend one of my favorite books of the year Off the Record by Cameron Garrett. This is about a girl named Joe who is in high school and she wins a contest for journalism to go on tour with the cast of a movie and do a profile piece on the lead. There is a trigger warning for mention of conversion therapy. There's also two M spec characters. I really loved seeing a male bi character and our main character is on the M spectrum. But while Josie is on this tour someone comes to her to pitch another story and she ends up writing two stories at once. There is a trigger warning for sexual assault for this book as well. I loved it so much. It was done so well and I highly recommend it. I'm recommending Only Come Up because of the music but I'm also recommending Off the Record because it is a Hollywood setting and there's some journalism and I know there is an episode of Hannah Montana that's like this so I thought that I would recommend both of these just because they are in kind of the same industry. And the last Disney original movie is Luck of the Irish and I'm going to be recommending He Who Dreams by Melanie Florence. This is about a boy named John who is Irish and Cree and he learns more about his Cree heritage when he's at a community center and he enrolls in a dancing class and I thought it was so good. And it's one of my favorite short contemporaries. I read it in one day. If you stay till the end here is my bonus recommendation for High School Musical the musical the series. This is between Perfect and Real 
Real by Ray Stovey and this is so good. It is about a trans boy named Dean and it is him realizing after he gets the role of Romeo in his school's production of Romeo and Juliet that he is actually a trans guy and not a lesbian. This was so good, has great theater vibes and I loved it so much. So that was part two of recommending books based on Disney original movies. Go and watch part one if you haven't. In that video I recommend books based on Lemonade Mouth, Xenon, the Lizzie McGuire movie, Get a Clue, and more. So go and watch that. Comment down below what your favorite Disney original movie is and comment a thumbs up emoji if you would like to see me do this video with Nickelodeon shows. I have that idea in the works. I would love to hear your feedback. I hope you're all having a great day. I have a Patreon if you'd like to support me there and watch all of my exclusive videos, including the video with extra recommendations based on Disney original movies. It would help me out a lot. If not, hit subscribe. It's free. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.